Hey everybody, today we're going to uh, start on the slotted cam uh, template cover plate quadrant and ellipse cam. So you see there's five drawings. I'm going to do two separate videos. So we'll break it down. I'll do the first three and then I'll do the last two. So let's get started on. If you notice, I've already got them drawn down below the images. So we will start with these first three and they're actually pretty simple. So what we're going to do on the first one, uh, get started of course on the object layer. And we'll start with uh, a circle. Notice we've got one, two, three circles. So we'll start with those. If we go into circling, if you click on the first one, of course, it's going to be center radius. Uh, we're going to pick a place to start, and you, you will pick anywhere on your screen. So when we get it here, we're going to come out. And remember, this is in radius, so you're going to want to click on diameter to make it easier for you. So we'll say six inches for that real quick. The next diameter is a three and a half inch diameter. Now you can go right back into the same command by right clicking or of course you can click on the command you could drop down and get the center diameter to start with we want to hover and find the center point this one is three and a half so i'm going to do 3.5 that circle is a center line so i'm going to change it over to the center line layer so there we go on that and now i'm going to do one more diameter and it is one and five eighths again look at the center point and this one i'm going to type one dash five slash eight for one and five eighths. The other thing you could do is 1.625. Remember, you have to put the five in there. So there's our three main circles. Now notice we've got center lines here, vertically and horizontal. I know I'm still in the object layer. I could change over and make it into a uh, center layer, but I can draw from here to here. And now what I've done, I have clicked on this little drop down arrow previously. So if I click on it, you notice I get this flyout window, okay? This talks all about whatever object we, we click on. So if I click on that line and then come over here and hover, when this flies out, it tells us everything we need to know about that line. One of the things we can change is the layer. Now remember, I could do it right here, but the properties gives us a lot of information. So we can do it from here also. Either one's fine. So I'm gonna change it to center, just like that, okay? While I've got it highlighted, I'm going to rotate this. I want, I want a mirror copy of it at 90 degrees. So I'm going to use mirror. I've already got it selected. I'm going to click on the midpoint. I'm going to drag out at 45 degrees and click. I know I don't want to hit delete the source object. So there are those two center lines. I'm going to go ahead and drag these out using the grips by going 0.25 both ways. I could have done that before I ever mirrored it and it would have saved a little bit of time. Oops, every once in a while you grab something you don't mean to. So there. Oh no, look, I made it too long. If you do that, just drag it back, click, drag it back out, 0.25. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to start with on it now that we've got all that done, notice that these slots are all three quarters of an inch wide. So not only are the slots that wide, the diameter of this arc is three quarters also. Do you see that these lie right here on the center line? Well, that's going to come in handy. So let's go right here. We're going to use this center line. So that point right there is where that arc is located at. So I'm going to go diameter again. And if you accidentally go into radius, remember, all you have to do is click the location first and then change to diameter. And we're going to put in 0.75 for three quarters. Now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to draw a line from this quadrant. Notice the diamond shape out till I get an X. And we'll go right back in the line, same thing. I'm going to click here and drag out till I get an X. There we go. At this point, now I can trim this up and clean it up. So I'm going to go into Trim. I'm going to hit Enter for Select All. And get rid of what I want to get rid of. So there we go. There's that slot. Now, I need six of those totals. See? See around there? Six. But there's an easy way of doing it. I'm going to change this over. If you will look up here on your screen, you're going to see these four boxes. But there's a drop-down arrow. If we click on it, underneath it we see polar array. This is a rectangular array, kind of like laying out desks in a classroom. This is a polar array. It lays out objects in a circular pattern. And these are laid out circular around that center point. So I'm going to click on polar. And that's what it says, select objects. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to click and I'm going to click here and get all of them inside that blue box. That's all I want to pick, so I'm going to hit enter. Now, center point. So I'm going to click in the middle. And look, it defaults to six. Notice this changed up here. Look at this. If you don't have the right number of items, you can click right here and change your number. 
and fix it. But because this is correct, all we're going to do is hit close array, and we're done. So now what do we need to do? We need to trim out. So I'm going to go back into trim. I'm going to hit enter. And now all I need to do is click on these and clean them up. Okay. And I need two more center lights here and here. Well, because of the way these are laid out, notice there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. If you divide 360 into 6, you're going to get 30 degrees between each one. I'm sorry, 60 degrees between each one. But guess what? I can use that polar array again. I can click and click on that center light. Hit enter. My center point is going to be right there. And notice it says 6, and it looks like it's correct. But the only problem is it's laid out lines on top of each other. Here's where we're going to change our item number and go to 3 and hit close. Now it's done correctly. So there's that one done. Okay, so let's move to this one. This one's got a little more detail to it, but it's not very hard when we get started on it. It's five and a half inches wide, and believe it or not, it's five and a half inches tall, and you go, wait, that says four and seven eighths. Yeah, but we've got to add this five eighths right here. See this radius? From there to there is five eighths. Well, it's also five eighths from there to there, and from there to there. It's a radius. So if you add five eighths to four and seven eighths, it becomes five and a half inches. The reason why it would be four and twelve eighths. Well, four and eight eighths would be five, plus four eighths, which four eighths would reduce down to a half. So five and a half. Okay. So let's draw a box five and a half inches square. I'm just starting there. Y'all, of course, will have a clean screen. We won't have to do that. So come over. I'm going to hover here, drag up. It automatically does my five and a half. And there we go. There's our five and a half. So what are we going to lay out first? How about putting these two big center lines in first? Okay. So click here, drag down, click here, drag across. So midpoint to midpoint. Now I'm going to highlight those two lines and I'm going to change it here or I could change it here and say center layer. I want it on the layer. I'm changing the layer. I'm not changing anything about the properties. I'm changing the layer. So now that circle is centered right there where they cross. So I'm going to click on it, and it says specify center point there. Oh, no, I used radius, but I can click diameter and say 2.5, 2.5. There we go. Now look at these two circles. How far out are they? Well, we've got these numbers, but see there, that 1 and 3 fourths goes from there to there. But there's a 7 eighths over, and then 1 and a quarter from there. So 1 and a quarter plus 7 eighths. Well, if we made that into eighths, that would be two eighths. Two eighths and seven eighths is nine eighths. That's one and an eighth plus the one. So two and an eighth out to that center point. So let's go in. I'm going to offset and I'm going to give it a distance of 2.125 or I can back it up. I can say two dash one slash eight. Either one works. Click over. There we go. So right there is where that circle goes. So now I'm going to do circle. There, change the diameter. And how big are these circles? Five eighths drill, five holes. Yep, I see the five holes. So five slash eight. There we go. That's it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and shorten down this center line and get it in the right place. 0.25 longer than the circle. Same thing here. Drag up. Click on the quadrant. Drag down. 0.25. There we go. Got it in the right place. So we're in good shape right there. Okay. So we've got that one where we want it. Now, let's do this line next. Okay, this line is important. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this line. Or we can leave it and adjust it. Which one would you rather do? Hey, let's adjust it. So what I'm going to do, if you notice, this line is exactly one inch long. And it's a half inch up. So if I click on it and grab that grip and drag it down to the midpoint. And then I can drag it back up that half inch. 0.5. Now I can do the very same thing with the bottom line. Drag up to the end of that center line. See what I did? And then drag back down, 0. 0.5. There we go. There's that line. Okay. So we got that adjusted. Now why is that good? Well, look. This angled line comes off that end point. Well, this is the good part about our polar tracking. We set polar tracking to 45 degrees, okay? So that's how you get those green lines. So if I click on line and click here, notice I get a green line horse, uh, vertical. I get a green line horizontal. But I can get a green line at 45 degrees. I'm going to come down, and when I get my X, I'm going to click. There we go. There's that angled line. All I have to do now, drag this grip back to the end point. There it is. It's got that fixed. Okay? So, so far, so good. Now, let's see what else we can do. Look here. 
See this radius, one and a quarter? Notice I've even got a little circle down here to show you where it's at. From this corner up is one and an eighth, because remember, no matter where along this arc we fall, it's going to be, I'm sorry, one and a quarter. It's going to be one and a quarter. I'm going to use circle again. I rarely ever use arc, but I am going to use radius this time. I'm going to hover. I'm going to drag up. And what was our distance? One and a quarter. So hover on the end point, drag up. I did not click. 1.25. There we go. And now I need to do my radius. I don't even have to type it because I put my center point exactly the right distance away. Just come back down, touch the end of the line, and click. There it is. Okay, so we've got that in place. Now what have we got left to do? Okay, we need to take care of this up here. Well, like we said a minute ago, that's 7 eighths over, and we know it's 5 eighths down, right, from the top. So I'm going to offset this center line again, 7 eighths, 7 slash 8. So I typed in my distance and hit enter. Bring it over. Now is that right? 7 eighths? Yep, that's right. So now, where does this go? So here's where we've got to be careful. It comes down along this line, and we put that in at 5 eighths, but then this is a 5 eighths radius. This is a radius, this is a diameter, so it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into circle, I'm going to hover, and I'm going to drag down it, and I'm going to say 5 slash 8, and come back up and put it in. Y'all, I'm going to tell you something that I've done right here. I've messed up somewhere, and the reason why I know that is because my things don't line up. So I've made a mistake here, and I know something's not quite right, and I need to figure out what's wrong. Well, I think I know what it is. I think it's right here. Let's check and see how big this circle is. I'm going to measure, click, click, one and a half. Yeah, I've got something bad wrong there. I made that circle the wrong size. Let's get rid of that. This is a one and a quarter radius. So I want to go into radius. I want to hover and drag up. 1.25, okay, and now I'm going to drag out, and I'm going to touch that endpoint, okay, so there's that, now, now it looks better, and you say, well, that looks kind of odd, but yeah, I know, but it's going to be okay, watch what happens here now, so these are great big circles, but notice up here, I drew this by using a full circle, and I drew this by using a full circle. If you look right here, there's a little bitty line that runs between them. And it hits right on the quadrant there. And here, I think it hits on the quadrant, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to use a different command. So I'm going to go into line, and I'm going to click on my quadrant right there, and I'm going to drag down. And instead of clicking where it touches the server, I'm going to type in now, inside the line command, T-A-N, and hit Enter. And notice I get sort of this green arrow looking thing. Green lantern, sorry. And I'm going to click right there. And now I've got it lined up correctly. How about that? So that tangent thing gives me the right number, which is neat. So now we can trim some stuff out. Let's go back into trim and hit enter. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. And let's get rid of this. Look at there. There's that shape. See it? Okay. Now the only thing I need is I need a circle right here. And it's at the same center point as this radius. So these two are concentric. They share the same center point. Okay. Same thing with this. All three of these circles, this one, this one, and this one, they're all concentric because they all use the same center point. So let's put a circle in. Remember, five eighths drill, five holes. I'm going to use the copy command. I'm going to copy that circle, hit enter, from the midpoint, and I'm going to find the midpoint of that arc. There it is. See the red cross? Click right there. That's all I have to do. Pretty easy. So now I need a center line going this way. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit. Watch this. I'm going to copy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line. Copy that line. I'm going to grab it at that quadrant. I'm going to drag it up here to this quadrant. Okay. Now the only thing I need to do is I need to drag it out a quarter of an inch past the arc. And then it needs to be a quarter of an inch past the circle this way. Now I know that looks funny, but the reason why is... The last curve feature here is the circle, so I need to go this way. The last curve feature going this way is that arc, so I need to go that way. Same thing here. I need to drag this up a quarter of an inch past, and the bottom needs to be a quarter of an inch past the circle. There we go. That's what those are going to look like when you get them done. Okay? Again, pretty simple. So what have we got left here? Hey, how about this hole? 
we know it's down to it an eighth from here, okay? So I'm just going to offset that center line to it an eighth. Offset 2.125 or 2 dash 1 slash 8. There we go. That's where that hole goes. I'm going to do copy again. That circle, hit enter from the center point to there. This midpoint of that line or the quadrant circle. So we're going to drag it out, 0.25, back in, out, 0.25. There we go. Okay. Now you'll notice that I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to extend this center line out, 0.25. I'm going to extend this line out, 0.25. The reason why we let this line go all the way through, we're going to show that these three circles are on the same plane. Okay? I'm going to do this one out 0.25 and this one out 0.25 beyond the edge of the object. The reason why? It is symmetrical. Look at this drawing. It's the very same over here as it is over here. Now, I just gave away a clue. You're going to love this. Okay? So I'm going to clear my grips. I'm going to delete that line. Okay? Watch this. I'm going to use the mirror command. And Everything on this side is identical over here. So I'm going to come right here and click, and everything that I can get inside that blue box, let's see how much of it I can get. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see. Wow, I can get everything that I need inside the blue box. So I'm going to click, look at it, it's all highlighted. That's all I want to pick. I want to pick the end of this center line. I'm just going to go down. I can stop anywhere along this line. So I'll go to the very end, click and keep my source object, so the answer is no. How about that? Now, take this grip, drag it back, take this grip, and drag it back. Zoom in and get the quadrant. And there's that one done. How about that? Pretty neat, huh? All right, let's do one more, and then we'll do another video later, okay? I'll have it published on Monday. Okay, so let's do this one. This one actually is not as hard as it looks because everything hinges on these big arcs. So let's start with a circle. See that one and seven eighths, and I'm going to do it in radius, okay? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start, and I'm going to do one dash seven slash eight or 1.875. There's that first circle. I'm going to go ahead and put the center lines on this one. All right, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and drag this out a quarter of an inch longer because I know it's going to have to be there. And then this center line here, I'm going to go ahead and drag it out, okay? Like that. Now, before I turn it into a center line, I'm going to fix these, okay? So watch what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back into circle and it's 3 eighths radius, so I can use radius. Center point of that, there it is, 3 slash 8. There we go. The reason why, from the quadrant out and the quadrant out, that's those two lines. I'm going to go to line, zoom in, quadrant out, another line, quadrant out. There we go. Okay. So now I've got them in the right place. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, turn this into a center line. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mirror me a copy of it. I'm going to get to the center and I'm going to drag down at 45 degrees. There we go. Now look, that's really, really, really long right there. Oops. Do you know what I did? I escaped. If that ever happens, just go right back into the command, do it again, click here. This time I'm going to go up instead of down, and I'm going to say no. There we go. Okay, so there's my center line. So what have I got to do now? Well, I'm going to drag this center line back a little bit. I'm going to drag it right there just to get it out of the way. That's all I'm doing, just getting it out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up right here too. Trim, select all. Let's get rid of these little parts of the circle because we don't need them. All right, so there we go. Now let's put this center in. Well, where is it at? Hey, look here. This and this, they're two inches apart horizontally. This and this center line are two and an eighth inches apart. Okay, we can do that. So let's go to offset. Let's do 2.125. That's two and an eighth. And that's this one up. There we go. Now I'm going to hit enter, get out of the command. I'm going to come right back into the command, the offset. Look, it remember my two and an eighth, but I want two this time. So I'm going to type two and enter. Click and drag over. There we go. Now, they don't cross. I need them to cross. So I'm just going to grab this and drag it out horizontally. Okay, there we go. Now they cross. That's the center of this big arc and this little hole. Notice they call it a punch. That's okay. It means it was punched out instead of drilled out. 
and this has a 7 8 diameter. This arc has a one and a half inch radius. So let's do the radius first. Right there where them two lines cross, and it was one and a half, 1.5. There we go. And then the diameter, so if I go back into circle, use that center point again, let's change over to diameter, and it was 7 slash 8, 7 eighths. There we go. There's those. Again, really simple, okay? Hey, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Watch this. I'm going to grab this grip. Look how long I had that drawn. And I'm going to drag it all the way back down to the edge of that little circle right there. And I'm going to drag it back out, 0.25. I'm going to stop it there, okay? This one's in good shape. This one's in good shape. I like both of those. I'm going to drag this one up to the edge of that little circle and back down, 0.25. I'm going to drag this down to the big circle and back up, 0.25. Let's adjust this one to 0.25 to the big circle. And let's adjust this one to the little circle. You'll see why here in a minute. Okay. So there we go. Now we need that line there. Okay. We need this line here. And we need that curve. Let's put this line here first. Line is from the quadrant. It goes down to that line. There we go. That's it. Hey, we can take this and drag it back to where it goes now. There we go. Pretty neat, huh? Now let's put this back line in. It's tangent from here to here. So it touches this circle in one point only, this circle in one point only. Remember the power point you watched earlier. Okay? That's what that is. So if we go to line, and before we ever click on anything, we're going to type in, after we click on line, Let's just specify first point, put T-A-N and enter. Now, click on this part of the circle. Remember quadrant, quad, quadrant here, quadrant here, quadrant, quadrant. Click on this quadrant of the circle. Okay, there we go. Now type in T-A-N again and hit enter. And get on this quadrant of this circle. And it will draw it exactly right. There we go. Pretty simple. So we've got that done. Let's go ahead and trim this up now. Let's clean it up. Trim, select all by hitting enter, click, 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 click. Now, what needs to go here? Uh-oh, look what happened here. Click, and I've got that little piece left. Well, what do I do? Just click on it when you get a clean command line and hit delete, and it'll go away. Okay? How do we fix this? Well, this is really easy, believe it or not. All we have to do, we're going to use a command called fillet. See it right here? It rounds off corners. So we click on fillet. It says our fillet is a quarter of an inch. Now, I've already used that quarter of an inch, and that's the reason why it says radius quarter of an inch. Yours is going to say probably radius of zero. If it does, click on radius, change it to 0.25, and hit enter. Okay? And click on that line and that circle, and look, it's done. How about that? So there's all three of those done. So I want you to give those a try, and like I said, I'll publish the video for the last two which are really simple. They look busy, but they're really simple. I'll publish those here in a day or two. Okay, so have a great day and enjoy it.